So you don't make the same shocking discovery as the new owners of a home in Mooresville. RTV6 exposed this problem two years ago, and today the couple that bought a home contaminated with meth is now fighting back. Call 6 investigates Rafael Sanchez joins us with the new developments. Jason, the Nugent family had to abandon their home, leaving behind all their prized possessions. This week, they hope to hold someone accountable for selling them a home filled with meth. Christopher and Jennifer Nugent are spending the week at the Morgan County Courthouse after fleeing their house in Mooresville. Their home on West Antioch Lane was contaminated with meth. The Nugents and their children became sick, moved out in 2014, and have waited two years to hold the sellers responsible. Any comments, Ms. Argue, Mr. Argue, anything you want to say? No, he won't no. let us talk. Okay. The Nugents filed a breach of contract and fraud lawsuit against real estate agent Lori Argue, her son Joshua Argue, plus Jalissa Argue, and Carpenter Realtors. The family argues that during the sale of the Mooresville home, the Argues failed to disclose any hazardous conditions on the property. After moving in in May of 2013, the Nugent's dog died. They became ill and began noticing brown stains around the home. After 10 months, they left. And tonight, they're looking for justice. Day two of their trial in Martinsville resumes tomorrow at 8.30. A verdict may come as early as Friday. The attorneys for the Argues and Carpenter Realty declined to comment, Jason, today. All right, now, Rafael, here's the big question for me or for anyone out there. If I'm planning to buy a home, how do I avoid this from happening? So let's empower you at home right now. State police currently have a database of all the meth-contaminated homes, and there are hundreds. And once those homes are cleaned, they're removed from that list. Also, double-check with your local county health department if there is a meth bust, they get notified right away. An out-of-pocket expense is this one. You can consider hiring a state-certified meth inspection for your home. Now, state-certified contractors are on the website for the Indiana Department of Environmental Management if you want to get the right person. But also keep this in mind. If there is no bust on that property, if state police or local police don't show up, it doesn't get reported to police, it will not show up on any database anywhere in the state. Another thing to consider, as of 2015, homes that are contaminated with meth have to be reported on your home disclosure form. That did not exist when the Nugents bought their home in Mooresville. So things have changed, things are improving, and now the Nugents are seeking justice in Morgan County. Crazy to think about. All right, Rafael Sanchez, thank you so much.